What is up guys, Delboy here. So Joshua Barazzi stops Baptiste Castanaro in five rounds. And it was a um, a good workout for Joshua Barazzi. Joshua Barazzi, uh, this is only a second fight. And I feel that five rounds this, uh, this early in his pro career will do him the world of good. The guy he fought, uh, Castanaro... He was very durable, he was tough, he came to fight. He wasn't very good in terms of technique or talent, but he came to fight. Uh, he liked. He tried to get it sort of uh, on the inside, he tried to be rough. In the clinch, he was trying to throw kind of rabbit punches, try to work on the inside, you know. He was giving Buatsi something to think about, you know, in his second fight. And I feel that this will definitely be, you know good for his career going forward you know I mean we see all these guys getting knockover jobs you know they'll, they'll stop guys in what in one or two rounds for their first 10-15 fights but it's good that boatsy has gone five rounds you know in his second pro fight I think that's a good bit of uh good bit of experience and I'm sure he'll take things to learn from this you know I mean me personally I felt it was a fairly workmanlike performance I liked the body shots uh, the jab was quite accurate at times, you know, he delivers that jab technically very well, and the right hand behind it, again, is technically very, very well delivered, but one thing I'd like to see more from Boatsy, I would like to see him stop smothering his shots so much, because when he gets a man hurt, he doesn't, he doesn't really give himself the space to finish them, you know, um, but, but that's, that'll come with experience, that's more, that's more a composure thing, you know, the more fights he has, you know, the the less sort of, um, you know, the less excited he'll be when he gets get when he gets an opponent hurt. You know, but um, all in all, it was a good performance. He smothered his work a little too much. He did get caught of a, a a shot here and there, but nothing too serious. Boatsy to me is a good talent. Is he as good as Anthony Yard? That's that's what people are going to compare him to. You know, the other talent in the UK at light heavyweight. I'm not so sure. But um, I do think boatsy has got a lot of potential. I like the way he uh, selects his shots. He works the body and the head very well. Good jab. Good solid technical ability. You know. I, I'd like to see how his power transcends when he moves up in the in like um, in quality of opposition. Because in the amateurs he was a bit of a puncher. But in the pros, is that going to translate, you know? Especially when he sort of goes up in levels. Interesting. But I, I personally felt that Boatsy looked fairly good. Got a little excited at times, but again, that's just inexperience in pros. Uh, he can definitely learn from this. He can definitely draw some positives. And he can definitely look at things to work on after this performance. And that's that's what you want to see after when these guys turn pro. You want to see these guys have fights against guys who are durable, who are not going to fall down after one punch. Because ultimately, if you go that route, all that does is gas them up. And, you know, they might not get the fights they need along the way kind of thing. But um, but yeah, Boatsy looked quite comfortable. He looked professional. Uh, yeah, decent performance, but things to learn from, things to improve on. And that's the whole reason of these type of fights, you know, durable guys who's who's going to come to fight. That's what these guys need to be fighting when they turn pro. Peace.